Australia. Welcome to LSB Feaster's radio channel and travel corner. This is the place where we keep great radio from the past alive. Today, we're going to Dallas, Texas. We're going to feature a guy who's actually a friend of mine, Frank Reed. Or if you're from New York, you may know him as Captain Frank Reed. Uh, Frank spent many years from the late 70s into the 80s at 66 WNBC New York. And he has been the morning drive host at KLTY in Dallas for almost 30 years. He started in 1991 and as of May 2020, he's still there doing a great job leading the Frank, Starlene and Hudson Morning Show every morning. It's a popular morning show in Dallas. Now, it's a fun morning show, and it sounds like it should be on an AC station, but it's on a contemporary Christian station. It's a well-put-together station, lots of entertaining, but it's got that element of faith in it. It's very positive, a great way to start the day. Now, on this air check, Frank actually talks a little about his days at WNBC and working with Don Imus. <laughs> Seriously, he even plays a little bit of WNBC in this air check, so hang in there so you can get to that. If you'd like to know more about Frank's story, his days at WNBC, and how his life was changed afterwards, you can check it out in his memoir, Frankly Speaking. It's a great read, I've read it twice already. Anyway, if you like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you like, and after you do, smack that bell. When you do, you'll be notified whenever we post anything new. All right, let's go back to May 2nd, 2019 with Frank Reed and the Frank Starlene and Hudson Morning Show on 94.9 KLTY Dallas. 94.9 KLTY. And KLTY HD1. Arlington, Dallas, Fort Worth. Dallas, Fort Worth. The rest of my night won't start today. Welcome to a $1,500 payday with Gail Lightfoot. Woo. There's Starlene Stringer. Hello. Captain Frank Reed. Show me the money. My name is Hudson. Speaking of money, what, what are some names of money that you guys can rattle off? I'll tell you. Moolah. Doe. Bucks. Yeah. Dinero. Benjamin. Jackson. Skrilla. Queens. Oh, you got the E40. Skrilla. Skrilla. <laughs> I got some Skrilla. Cash money dollars. Ends. Cash money green. Bones. Deceased presidents. Uh, <laughs> hey, what are the <laughs> Jacksons? <laughs> Michael? 94.9 <laughs> KLTY. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. It's Frank, Starlene, and Hudson in the morning. Okay, so we, we love doing these games behind the scenes. And we, and we found this thing about uh, different states. They have nicknames. Right. Like Texas is the Lone Star State. Correct. Welcome. What is uh, Golden State, Frank? Where is the Golden State? Mm, I'm going to guess that's California. Star? Quit picking on me. What? I'm not. Because he asked me this before, and he right. said, like, Golden State, and I went, Nuggets, because I was this just thinking golden about nuggets. Golden Chick. <laughs> golden Chick. Is that the good place that has good fish to go with your chicken? I hate them, dude. I like all hey. of it. Oh, Quit picking funny. on me. I'm not. Oh, you know what I love it. Wow. Okay, so what is, um, is it California? Let me Google. Yeah, do you know <laughs> the answer? I don't, I don't know the answer. Yes, it's California. Right. Okay, good. All right, I got this one. What is These are the... like state nicknames, right? Yes. Okay. What is the Silver State? The silver ooh, state. Silver state. Is it like yeah. because people have silver hair, they they're aging where people go to age? It's ooh, Florida. <laughs> no, <laughs> Florida. No, I was wrong. thinking, but they're no, like no, the Florida's state the sunshine state. Yeah, 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 they're the sunshine state. Close enough. Orange sunshine. Silver state. Wait, you never no find idea. a dance floor empty. Idaho. Idaho. Nope. Uh, I'm, then, for the silver I'm gonna tell you right now it's Nevada. Really? For the dance floor or for the silver state? No, for the silver state. Okay, there you pick, go. Pick states that people actually visit. No, well it's <laughs> Nevada. Dude. <laughs> All right, what about the natural state? Oh, Oregon. State. Okay, we have Oregon. What do you have? Nebraska. No, you can only do one at oh, a time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, natural state, Alaska. No, it's Arkansas. How do you know that? Because I always love vacations, and I see it in magazines, and they always advertise, and that's what it says. Well, there you go. Did you ever have a nickname growing up? Well, you know what? You I got did. quiet. I had, I had you a got few. quiet. I had to wait. I was thinking, well, you know, I had a few, but, you know, last night I stayed up watching her. Shout out to Demarcus McGoy. He always calls me Paula because I love <laughs> choreography and dancing and Paula Abdul is my favorite. Paula. Paula. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> hey, I, I would love it. I'll be smiling. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Did you have a nickname, Frank? Well, well you know, they, they called me Captain Frank when I was in New York. How did yeah. you get that name, wow. by the way? I've never asked. <laughs> Well, I was the leader. I was the leader of the Moby Worm Observation Corps. Of the what? <laughs> what? The, the Moby Worm Observation Corps. A worm observation? Why'd you have to observe a worm? It was an imaginary worm that 
<laughs> that uh, scared the, Some the school we kids. Ask. What? Scared the school kids in New York <laughs> City in the worse. metropolitan area. Can you imagine that audio? <laughs> what? Be, hey, everybody, it's Flack Ray with the Bad Center School Worm. He's going to eat too much. And we've got a worm. Oh. Maybe we should get a little worm in here. Kids, don't be alarmed. We've got a worm. You want, you want to hear a little bit of it? <gasps> are you serious? Like? You have having... audio? Yeah, are you, are you ready? Yes. Are you right, listen to this. All right. <laughs> Hope there's no kids in the car. What? what? Wait, what year wait. is this? Paint the picture. What, uh, what year is this? 1981. This is before Jesus. But this is before Jesus in my life. Oh, I thought you said it was before oh, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I was like, yo, yo. I gotta kill you all right it's around, now. It's around 1981. Are you ready? Okay, yeah. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, after a one-day respite, the most awesome, fear-infusing episode is at this very moment unfolding in Stamford, Connecticut. The terrible creature which has kept our entire region in horror's grip for days and days. 300-block-long, 90-mighty-stories-tall Moby Worm is in the process of devouring Stamford's West Hill High School. Is that Don Imus? Yeah. Oh, my God. We have dispatched our emergency worm observation corps to the scene and turn it over now to correspondent Frank Reed. Frank, Frank, can you see the worm? Couldn't miss him, Imus. The clock saw beast is diving in from an altitude of about 30,000 feet. Is that you? Unbelievable. Yeah. Just unbelievable. Now he's zeroing in on the bald pate of West Coast principal, Mr. Toshi. <laughs> standing there in front of his school, screaming epithets at the yeah, yeah. Hey, that was a sonic boom, Imus. The worm is just oh broken my the sound God. barrier. You know what that reminds me of? Of that weatherman who was standing up there going, the storm is blowing in, and there was nothing. <laughs> Why would y'all do that? That was you and Don Imus in New yeah. York City? So so what would happen is is I would always uh I, well I would always sort of like throw worms at kids going no, no. to school? No, no. At the end of the bit I would I would sort of get eaten by the worm. Oh my and gosh. This Can is, we this is, to hear that? This is true. And then miraculously he would come back and say he he survived, we'll be on the air this afternoon between three and seven. And that's how Cap so Captain and you were like in the army or something? Well yeah, he 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 Gave me the name of Captain Frank Reed, okay. leader of the Stop. leader of the Moby <laughs> Worm <laughs> Observation <laughs> Corps, <laughs> on 66. On, anyway. on behalf of Frank Starlene and Hudson in the morning, I would like to apologize. That is awesome. To all the parents in their car right now, trying to make kids understand what just happened. Okay, so I'm sorry. Wow. So, so what would happen is kids would write the station, oh, and they would want us, they would want the worm to like get the principal to school or get this particular oh, teacher. Oh my goodness! And it, wow. went, it went on for. A couple of years. Yeah, how times have changed. I would have this. See, okay, so <laughs> let me let me paint this. This was WNBC New York in the I guess the early eighties. Yeah. So Frank, if you don't know, Frank, this was before he he met the Lord and it had a life change. He was it, Howard Stern's it, BFF. It was <laughs> Howard Stern in the morning, literally, and then Howard would get off oh, the air, God. and then Frank would come on as Captain Frank, and then Don Imus would come in after Frank. Yeah. And there's a lot of man. there's a lot of heritage oh, man. there, dude. So that's Isn't really that cool. Crazy. That's how Captain Frank got started. Exactly. I'm just glad the worm is gone. Wow. <laughs> I, I am love your so nickname. glad the worm's gone. <laughs> All right. Do, do you have a nickname? Did you ever have a nickname growing up? And what is that nickname? Hey, you're amongst friends here. I promise. I seriously, you're amongst friends. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's two one four seven eight seven one ninety four nine. Here's Gail Lightfoot. Loop twelve northbound at Grawweiler. You've got the two right lanes blocked with that pickup Peter tottering on. The guardrail backed up to I-30. I'm Gail Lightfoot, 94.9 KLTY. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. They're really good. Three truths that will make an impact on your day. Encourage your day. It's awesome. Share hope when you go to Facebook.com slash KLTY morning. Really nice to hear. No. Number one. Happiness is an inside job. Do not assign anyone else that much power over your life. Number two. You can't be bitter and expect your life to be sweet. Those two cannot go together. Exercise those three words that will shake the ground when you use them. Those three words. I forgive you. Number three. Ooh, you better get me off of this thing. You can't move into your future if you're in love with your past. Hey, we all got a past. We were talking about that this morning. We all got a past. But you need to break up with that thing and you need to let that thing go because that is your past, not your future. 94.9 KLTY Secret Sound. Here we go. It's time to play. Well, it's Frank Starlene and Hudson. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, wow. You're up bright and early and chipper and I love it. You're mm-hmm. a good spirit. Hi, oh. Oh. oh, you got a shout out. Did they yeah. say hi, Hudson? Yeah. What's <laughs> up? Dude, how are you? I'm Oh. Uh, who's that? 
that? Those are my two little ones. Uh-huh. I have a four and a five-year-old in the background. That's Amari and Lex. Oh. Oh. Hi, Amari. Hi, Lex. We're so glad your mommy got through. What's mommy's name? I'm Amanda. Amanda, you are caller number nine. Woo! Oh, my God. I know. How exciting is this? You got your own little cheer? Oh, yes. We want you to guess the secret sound. Can y'all help mommy? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Help mommy now. For $1,500, what is that secret sound? I think it is tin cans being dragged behind a car. Oh. Did you just get married, girl? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a good guess. Is it right, Hudson? Oh. I'm so sorry, guys. That is not correct. Aww. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but you know what, Amanda? Man, we love you guys. J- just for calling and being awesome human beings. Can we send you guys to Scarborough Renaissance Festival? That be awesome. Okay, four tickets valued at $112. These are for you and your family. Y'all go have some fun. Thank you so much. We love you guys. Oh, we love y'all love too. too. Y'all Amanda. be safe. Give the kids a hug for us, okay? Mm-hmm. Will do. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. What are you turning away? From the 94.9 KLTY Studios, driven by Patterson Kia. Experience the Patterson difference. The trustworthy, family-owned dealership sharing your values. Are you ready? It's Frank, Starlene, and Hudson in the morning. 94.9 KLTY.